Good morning, gardening friends. I'm Lark, and I'm in Wisconsin, and I'm visiting a garden of a friend of mine. His name is Dale, and he has moss gardens. There's other things besides moss, but this is what he specializes in. And it's going to be uh, maybe two parts, maybe even three parts. Beautiful, beautiful. This is not a moss, he said. This is a plant. Isn't it beautiful? The mounding habit. Every rock he has brought in. I think he's uh, 74 years old and still working hard. Now this is going to be a lot of walking today, so I'm sorry if it's a little bumpy. I have my mom, Barbara, with me today and a friend, Irene, my gardening friend. The way he uses ground covers is excellent. He does fill in with annuals. He was hoping that the sun would be out yet so uh, the mosses would look better. So this is what we have today. Maybe the sun will come out. Sorry. Just keeping these pots watered. <laughs> it's a lot of work. <gasps> oh, that's what he wanted. Thank you, God. He's given us Sundale. Is this beautiful or is this beautiful? And yes, he does pick up leaves in that. He's going away today. This is high maintenance. Now this is in a subdivision. There's another house within feet of me here. This is a pretty hosta, right here. It does make a difference having that dump, uh, dappled sunshine come in. Beautiful. I hope this is not too slow for you. I'm usually known for fast. Using an old chunk of wood off of the 
off of a tree to grow moss. Now, this here he does. Can you see this netting right here? He puts over certain ones that the squirrels are bothering, ripping it up. Because you can imagine how many squirrels he has here. All this work. Beautiful moss on the steps. On the rocks. And we're going down some more steps here. Isn't this one how he makes it sunken? So beautiful. Sorry for the garbage truck noise. I told you he's in a subdivision. That's a type of meadow rue there. Isn't that really light up that area? And I knew that's a chipmunk sound. We have those. I like these old pieces of wood. Isn't that beautiful? Someone can count how many times I say beautiful. This is all a canopy where I'm walking on this cobblestone path. A sunken, I don't know what, but it's pretty. It's about three foot deep in there. I'm over here in the uh, area where you have sunken. You have good life and not so Okay, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'll follow you. He wants me to have sunshine seeing the Japanese garden, and indeed, that sun makes such a big difference. See these paths he did? This is right outside his house within feet, so what a pretty view. Dale, is that metal roof? Yes. Okay. Early metal roof. Okay. Dioa come. What's the dioa come? Oh, look at this. <gasps> is this gorgeous? Go ahead, walk. Sorry, that's his air conditioner unit, but he sure made it look pretty around here. You lead the way. Are you going out that way? Yeah. Okay, you go, and I'm going to walk. So, well, you, you got to see it, and it's, 
glory. It is. It is simply beautiful, Dale. Follow them, Mom. I want to show Linda this video. Wow. He knew I was coming. So when you have a tour, I know you want everything to be perfect, but this man is over the top. I tell you, he raked and he watered. So it looks really pretty. The stone looks absolutely awesome. The best little bridge there. We'll walk over it. What a difference the light makes in a moss garden. And his fences, the whole thing, just looks very, very Asian, very Japanese. I hope the camera's picking up those little mushrooms in this container. I so hope this is turning out because there's no doing it over again. This is one very talented man. I thank him for being in my life. And how we met is he took a tour and came through my garden. And that's how we met. Undersides of those leaves are gorgeous. See the burgundy? You all know I like that burgundy color. He has somewhere to go today, so we're getting a short version of the tour. My mom and Irene are. When Dave and I came, we were here for two and a half hours, I think. Two hours. Two hours. 
I don't think Dave will put up with much more, but when he got here, he really enjoyed it. And he told Mom, you have to see this garden. I have never seen anything so pretty, even at Botanical Garden in Milwaukee. Little house he built. This is exfoliating bark here, I think. Can you see this? Wow, and it looks like a Japanese maple leaf. Really pretty. I like that he doesn't have signs by everything. I know we don't know what it is, but the signs make it so impersonal. We want signs we can go to a public garden, botanical garden. So there's definitely going to be a part two. And I'll probably just write, run out of time, but please come back and see part two because his part two will include his fountains in the backyard. Oh, thank you, Lord, for having the sun come out. So pretty. So, so pretty. Now, mind you, you know what kind of damage squirrels can do and chipmunks and raccoons. So he's always up on it. We're going to be heading up this way, and it's going to be part two up here. You don't want to watch me walk bumpy up this hill. So I'll just scan it right now. Now, for the second part, we'll probably be listening to him more. And I'll try not to talk so much. So see you later. Take care, my friends. I hope you're enjoying this.